Ms. Jackson's Accounting 1, Principles of Accounting. This is the beginning of our school year. We're going to begin uh, looking over our textbook and beginning the first chapter of our textbook. But before we delve straight into material, I want to begin this year by teaching you how to read my accounting textbook. I don't want you to just go through the textbook, read every word, and not remember or understand what it's saying. I want you to go through the specific purposes and finding the information for this class. We will using the literacy strategy of setting purposes, which is mentioned on page 117 of Laura Rahm's Teaching, Reading, and Social Studies, Science, and Math. This strategy is to help you Go through a text material and find information for a given purpose. Yes, you all want to retain information to pass my test, pass my class, and get out of here. But I want you to be able to retain this information for real life learning. I do not want you to just remember every single word or every single sentence. I want you to set purposes to read in this chapter for the specific needs of this class. So, let's just begin by looking at our textbook. So if you would, please open up to the first chapter of your accounting textbook. Now, what do you see? In our chapter, we see the chapter title. Big heading, and it says financial statements. That is the main idea of this chapter. But I want you to go through the chapter and tell me what you think about the text. How some of it's bolded, some of it's italicized. There's models, there's graphs, there's data tables. Some are even separate text sections than just straight line words. There are broken off pieces, maybe boxed in. That means maybe this is extra important. Let's put this in a different section so that they look at this. But I want you to look at the layout. We can look through our chapter and see that there are different headings within it. The main heading was the title, Financial Statements. And as we flip through this chapter, we can see that there are subheadings broken into sections throughout the chapter. These headings are the main ideas of our chapter. We can see that these are broken down into the four basic financial statements. There is the income statement, the statement of retained earnings, balance sheet, statement of cash flows, and at the end there's a fifth section devoted to how to wrap up and finalize your financial statements into storage, filing, where to send them, etc. So now that we know a little bit of preview about how our textbook is set up, we can understand that from the layout of our textbook we can set purposes to our reading. Obviously, as a broad overview purpose, we can relate to the heading of the chapter title. The general purpose, to learn about financial statements. But if a chapter can break down financial statements into sections of subheading with particular financial statements, our purposes of this chapter should also be broken down into those particular sections. So, we have to learn about the financial statements, but what about the financial statements? That's when we bring them down into the income statement, retained earnings, balance sheet, and cash flows. Well, what do we learn about each of them? So let's set a purpose to our reading. Many of these items, you don't know what I'm talking about. A new vocab words. So generally, you would want to know the meaning or definition of these new vocabulary words. You would want to be able to read about the details of these new words to gain more knowledge about this meaning. You would want to see examples, maybe the process, the format, what it means to be an income statement, retainer, and balance sheet, etc. So our purpose would need to be for looking for the meaning of these new words, the details of these new words to be able to explain our meaning, maybe the process or format that goes along with that to make it understandable to 
to what we need from this class. So we would have to create a system of finding this information through setting purposes. So to begin setting our purposes for this chapter, I want you guys to use the graphic organizer. And I'll say graphic organizer because I don't want you guys to just read through the book, get the information, retain it for a little while to pass the class, and not remember it. Or not remember it at all after reading it. So I want you to use this graphic organizer to make a somatic process for you to go through the text, find your purpose, find your information, learn your information, and be able to put it down on paper. Plus, having this paper will be able to keep you to recall in the future. So, I have, an, I have a format for the graphic organizer that I want you to use. And I will use this and model it on the board for you to make a better understanding of what I need for setting your purposes. So, on the graphic organizer, we're going to start with our heading, the same as our chapter. Chapter heading, chapter title, financial statement. So that will be the heading for our graphic organizer. And then we remember that the chapter was broken into particular headings. These headings were indeed the word financial statement. So our graphic organizer will also be broken down into those four headings. Our income statement. The next section was our the following statement from the third section was the balance sheet. Flow. And I mentioned the fifth section as part of our chapter that I want you to cover. That would be a broad summary of wrapping up and finalizing these financial statements. Just use your own words to fill in this box. But uh, in going with how we're going to read this chapter, we're going to use this to set our purposes. Completing the chapter and completing this would be our general purpose. So, in completing this, you would need to set the purpose of finding out your new vocabulary need. So, what is an income statement? The definition of an income statement. So, you would define income statement. That is one of your purposes for reading this book. You would need to find examples, details, processes, something under the income statement that will help you understand its meaning. As mentioned before, there are certain sections of your textbook that are blocked off for the formulas of each of these, which were of high importance. That is another one of your purposes, is to learn the equation. So you would need to have an equation under your income statement. The same would be for the next sections of your chapter. You need to be able to define or generate how the equation or generate, define balance sheets and cash flows, and find their equations. And then in the last section, you would use your own words to just what are the steps to finalizing an income statement. So, I will model income statement, the first section of your chapter, and how setting these purposes would help you read through the text. So, from prior reading, I have this already filled out. So, income statement. I read through the section and I found that an income statement is
provided a summary of revenues, expenses, net income or loss for a specific period of time. Seems like a lot of words to me, but I'm just going to give it a summary. Revenues, expenses, net gain or loss, plus or minus, for period of time. But maybe I don't fully understand what that definition is. So that's why I'm going to have a purpose for finding out more information to further my understanding of that meaning. So I'm going to go and try and find the equation. So I read through the rest of my text, and I find that blocked off section that has the equation for income statement as revenues minus expenses equal net gain or loss. And then I realized, oh, the income statement is just the summary of the revenues minus the expenses equals a net gain loss over a period of time. So whatever number we're plugging in here for, let's say, one month, that's your income statement. I would then go through, continue reading about retained earnings, balance sheet, and cash flows, and find the same information, my definition, my equation, that would better help me understand what retained earnings mean. Now, on this graph and organizer, I've also listed two other things. Between the top three statements for your first three in the chapter, there are two connections between income statement, retained earnings, retained earnings, and balance sheet. I want you to be able to go through critical thinking of your text, the information, and find these two connections. They're not plainly out into the text, like maybe your definition or your equation. But I will give you a little bit of information that this net gain and loss used in the income statement has to be found before the retained earnings can be calculated. So you have to have your net gain and loss to do the retained earnings. So that is the connection between those two. You would have to go and find the connection between retained earnings and the balance sheet. So now that you know how to set your purpose, to learn about financial learn about each of the financial statements to be able to define each of the financial statements and know the equation of these financial statements. You can go through your text, fill out these graphic organizers, and you have fulfilled your purposes. So please, if you wouldn't mind, go back and reread about the income statement. I want you to be able to do this in your own words. Having it verbatim what I wrote down works. But I want you to be able to understand it through your own reading. Find the connections, do the definition equation for the balance sheet and cash flows, and write your own words in the summary of how to finalize those documents. So please begin recording your graphic organizer and reading chapter one.